<laughs> that is so incredibly true. Because there have been times, and still right now, present, right now in this moment, I'm really hurt by a particular person in my life, and yet I'm so happy all at the same time. Like if I start to think about this person, I might start to cry, I might get pissed off, and then I see all of you in this room, and I see my colleagues in this room, and I'm just excited at the same time. You can be extremely happy and extremely depressed. That can happen simultaneously. Have you ever known somebody that like you love them, but you don't like them in the moment? Yeah. Right? Is that a lot of times these people are called family? Right? <laughs> hey, true or true. You know what I'm saying? True or true. true. So, so this is possible. But how many of us identify how we're feeling and why we're feeling that way? See, school, to me, is about forming habits. Each subject that you learn, each class that you go in, is about you forming habits. And they just show up in different ways depending on the subject being taught. It's about habits. Do you have the habit of when you're pissed off about something, when you're mad about something, being able to take the time to stop, think about why it's happening, and then take a step in the, right, in the direction of you advancing and growing from that thing. See, most of us, because our lives get so busy, and you have busy lives, it's about to get way busier for you. You can have five classes, some of you. Some of you can have four. You can have projects and tests and homework and all that stuff that comes up. Then stuff's going to start happening with your friends, your significant other, people around you. It's going to get very busy. But if you do not, if we do not choose to manage our emotions and choose to love ourselves, this becomes harder. Every class will become harder if we do not take the time to make sure that our emotional and mental health is on point. In my opinion, it, your mental health is more important than anything else. Because if things are right, if you can manage how you're feeling, that doesn't mean you're feeling good every day. That's not what I'm saying. Listen to what I'm saying. If you, whoa, I just cracked out of the floor. Back in high school, what up? <laughs> so if you can learn to manage your emotions, if you can have the habit of stopping, recognize how you feel, why you're feeling that, and what can I do, you will be way ahead of the majority of the humans on this planet. I was never taught in school how to manage my money. Never. Not one time. But we care about that here at Seth. It is highly important to every single person standing here right now that you are healthy here and that your emotions are healthy. So we need to help each other to love ourselves. Once we love ourselves, the world will open up to you. You have to start with you. I was terrified in high school, especially. Terrified for anybody to find out that I was gay. Terrified. And now I say it like it's nothing. I'm as gay as they come, people. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. But I was terrified. Terrified. And then when? When? I'm making up new words. Oh, no. Girl, oh, I'm going to make up new words. I'm going to make up new words. Once, once I decided to love all of me, Every piece of who I am, the world opened up to me. Once I decided to love myself the 
world open up for me. But I couldn't get there until I owned my story, every piece of it. Until I admitted my fault, until I embraced failure, until I, until I decided to continue to grow and learn. Those things helped me to love myself. And now there is no stopping them. I'm telling you right now, when you choose to love yourself, everything else will come. I'm not telling you that like a pie in the sky type of idea. I'm telling you from experience. Because what's going to happen when you choose to be authentic and love yourself for every piece of you, the right people will come into your life. Because those who mind don't matter, and those who matter don't mind. The people in this room have, don't Whoa. care at all that I'm gay. They don't care. It's like, oh, so and so I'm gay. Cool, you want to go get something to eat? It's like nothing. It's like, it's like, okay, I have an afro. Big deal. <laughs> right? Like, they don't care. That's why they matter. And the people that mind me being gay, bummer for you. I'm not going to apologize for being who I am because I love myself and I'm authentic and I know that I make mistakes, but at the end of the day, I try to be the best I can possibly be. And so because of that, I love myself. And if you mind that I'm black, that I have an afro, that I'm a woman, that I have a, the gender expression of what society considers male, that's on you, not on me. incredible about what we do. Set High is the place. The only place. There's, there's, with, there's certain people. Find your people. Right? Those who matter. Find your people. Find your places. So, anywhere I am with my mom, it's phenomenal. Any at home with my wife and two kids, it's phenomenal. Hillcrest, I feel like myself there. But you know what? That I. That I. This is where I know every day that I can come in. I can own my story. I can admit my fault. I can embrace failures. I can commit to growing. And I can love myself. And I know in doing that, that those who matter will be in my life. I want you to get there sooner than I did. This person standing in front of you today that looks like a confident person still has a lot of insecurities. I just got to fight through them to do what I got to do because someone in this room today needed to hear one thing I have to say. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it is, but I know one person in here needed to hear what I have to say. One of my mentors told me, if you don't tell your story, you're robbing someone who needs your story to not give up. And once that person told me that, I was like, I guess I'll be telling you. Because why would I want to prevent someone from having what they need so that they don't give up? So, my friend, I need you to get there before I get there. And we can help you do that. We can help you get to that place where you love yourself, where you are authentically you. We can help you get there. This is the place to be. Okay? I'm committing to you that I will be there for you. I'm committing to you that this year, if you commit to all the things that I just talked about, it's going to be a phenomenal year. It's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I guarantee you, there's not one doubt in my mind that every person on this staff is ready and excited. When my wife went back to she's a teacher as well, she went to their first meeting and half the room was all negative about the school year. You know what happened? 
when we all came in the first day, oh my God, y'all look at that! <laughs> like, it was real loud, just like that. We like hugged each other, how they everybody doing. The new people came in, they, like, everybody here is committed to helping you on this journey to love yourself. You just got to participate. Are y'all ready? Yeah. 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 Yeah.